recommend any chrome in particular? Eh, you know, cyber implantation's like buying shoes. Everyone needs something different. A net runner won't have the same needs as a solo. But if you spend a lot of time in the Badlands, it's worth investing in cloaking gear. Hollow skin, active camo, what have you. Compared to the city, surrounding area might look deserted. But less folk doesn't mean you'll be safer. Here's what I recommend. Move quietly. Don't draw too much attention, else things can get real ugly real quick. I know. I was raised by the backers. Ah, well, I don't have to tell you then. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. But better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. What about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? There used to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. And I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Now, we'll see to that. 
You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Goal, a love, and a dream are what breed a real man. Truer words, brother. Drinking always breed deep thoughts? I just feel like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. If any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. You didn't take her side last time when she left the clan. Why? Because last time, Pan Am was acting a damn fool. You think she learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that? worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? I've never seen old tech like this. You know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? What cards now? An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them. As code in columns. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful.
Cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay. Thank you. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Got something. Good job. Carol, we have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. I can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah, because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself. But why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. 
I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. Time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Jackie. You don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. 
And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. some sleep okay it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through Grown kind of cold out here not true but this is nice catch some shut eye with me I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Up to speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars, it'll speed you up. Hey, no coming in high. Take out that couple.
Let's go. Ready to roll. Fuck! It worked! Psh, of course it did! Just as I said it would! How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting to pitch and Teddy. Nothing. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! And now! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. To discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems to still be in fine work and order. Family's with you on this thing. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. I saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. Happened from the start. We'll see. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. You wait. Take care.